So in the Shotoku Tech Tech Fails October 2019 video, I reported that following the GitHub instructions for the TTGO display board, basically scrambled the display, my friend AB reported the same. Just recently, he came back and told me it's working now. So we have to go check it out. So following the link below to the GitHub site, I could see the instructions have changed completely since the last time I visited here. Basically commenting out the default and then commenting in the TTGO display board here. You're going to select the ESP32 dev module and then you basically run the TT display INO. Seems simple enough. So here's the file you have to modify in the TFT ESPI master. And you go into the user setup select H file to edit it. Again, you want to use a text editor, not Word. And you comment out the user setup H, include, and then you uncomment the include user setup 25 TT Go T display. And make sure to save that file and I went ahead and tried to compile the sketch I basically just get error after error and I concluded that somehow I've just thrashed my entire Arduino repository of libraries etc so I went ahead and uninstalled Arduino and deleted every single folder related to Arduino from my system on Windows 10, I used the Microsoft Store to download the most recent version of Arduino. So we're going to go back and install the dependencies again. I already downloaded them yesterday, so we're not going to go through the effort of downloading them. But we're going to go in and manage libraries and add a zip library. Get the TFT ESPI master zip. And then we're going to include add another zip library, the button 2 zip. Those are both there now. We're going to go ahead and edit that user setup select H file. That's in the Arduino libraries folder, TFT ESPI master. There it is, user setup select H. Use the text editor. Comment out the default include user setup H and uncomment that setup 25 TTGO T display. Make sure to save that. Now we need to install the ESP32 add on to the Arduino IDE. Look for the link below. In preferences, you want to enter this URL under additional board manager URLs. Now we can download the ESP32 board manager. We're installing it here. Okay, it's installed now. And we can select the ESP32 dev module. So I'm going to download a fresh copy of the TTGO T display program. Open the zip file. In my Arduino repository, we're going to create a folder named TTGO T display. Copy all the files from the zip to that folder. Now we're going to go ahead and open that up in the Arduino IDE. We'll verify the program. And you see the program verifies nicely. So it's time to upload it. Here we go. Make sure to select the right COM port. And the upload has succeeded. And what do you know, the TTGO T display board works as advertised with this program. And even you can push one button and detect the voltage of the USB port and push the other button and detect Wi-Fi network. So thanks again to my friend at AB that left a comment on my October tech fails video. My TTGO board went from this scrambled display to displaying the way it's supposed to. Thank you very much. Shotoku Tech, 
please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you very much.